Hello guys, this is the Gaming Revolution here and welcome back to an all new Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War Zombies video. So yesterday I posted a video going over everything that we know is coming in Season 4 thus far for Warzone, Multiplayer and Zombies. But I decided to do a follow up video to that video just going over all of the Zombies content that we know is coming in Season 4. Because I know there are a lot of Zombies fans that just do not care at all about Warzone and Multiplayer. So this this video will save you the hassle of watching that entire video just to find out the zombies information. So season 4 is currently scheduled to release on June 16th slash June 17th depending on which time zone you are in. And the first thing that we will be seeing probably at the start of season 4 is the second outbreak easter egg. We don't know exactly what this easter egg is going to entail but within the first easter egg we managed to prevent Omega and Kravchenko from carrying out Operation Inversion and sending these Dark Ether nuclear missiles to specific locations around the globe. And I do wonder whether the second easter egg is going to be a second attempt at Operation Inversion but maybe Omega is going to be successful this time and the reason as to why I say this is because two proposed locations of Operation Inversion are New York and Washington DC. And these are locations that people theorize to be future zombies maps but a lot of people thought that maybe these maps are called off considering we managed to prevent the Operation Inversion missiles and instead we sent them into the Pacific Ocean. Well, we have one piece of intel from the Stranger aka Zykov within the Dark Ether who managed to temporarily make his way out of the Dark Ether into New York and this confirms that there will be a Dark Ether breach in New York at some point in time. However, time works differently in the Dark Ether so even though it hasn't happened yet, it's foreshadowing that it will happen within the future. So maybe that is what the second Outbreak Easter Egg is going to be about. And I'll talk more about the easter egg in a little second and everything else coming in season 4 but first of all this video has been kindly sponsored by dragon champions have you got some free time and got nothing to do or maybe you want to simply pause and relax in between your busy life then dragon champions is the perfect game for you it's a free to play turn based fantasy rpg mobile game accessible for everyone it features a deep and engaging multi stage storyline filled with humor easter eggs and tons of pop culture references. There are a variety of tactical battles, PvP, PvE and many other things. In Dragon Champions you can join guilds, chat with other guild players and combine their efforts to win raids, participate in raids and attack the most powerful beasts of Corridor and to defeat the Elder Dragons. There are many heroes and races to choose from, each with different rarity levels that will join you in the ultimate adventure. Developers always stay in touch with the player base, listen to their feedback and regularly implement their ideas into the game. They hold polls in their Discord server where players can decide what kind of additions they would like to see. The game is constantly updating and evolving. The developers not only add new heroes but also improve old characters and levels so players don't get bored. The graphic design will remind you of your favourite old computer games. The game is inspired by the World of Warcraft atmosphere. And what's more is there are no obligatory microtransactions, the game is absolutely free to play friendly, you can complete all story levels and unlock every hero without paying a dime. No intrusive ads will disrupt you during the games. Furthermore, there are plenty of generous prizes, you receive a lot of different loot for almost everything that you do in the game. My favourite hero is the demon Kyra, part of the clan's faction. Its role is fighter ranger. She looks looks like a menacing badass. There is plenty more to discover in the game, so if all of this sounds awesome to you, you can click the link in the description to download the game for free. The developers have kindly provided a gift for you, if you use the promo code TGRGIFT, you will get some in-game loot that is worth $10, and a brand new character that is called Cochrim, which is a really cool hero to develop fast, since he has a huge AoE damage and AoE stun. You can enter the codes by heading to the settings tab and clicking on use promo code, the more you use the code, the more I can provide you with extra free loot in future videos. If you decide to check out the game, come back to the video later and share your thoughts on it in the comment section down below. So bringing it back to the subject of season 4 and the outbreak easter egg. I really do wonder as to whether we're just going to be able to choose which easter egg we complete whenever we play the game or whether there's going to be a separate playlist for the second easter egg. 
egg. Magua did theorize on Twitter that we might be rescuing scientists and the scientists give you a new wonder weapon or something and then you try and stop Operation Inversion. Let me know in the comment section down below, what do you think this second Easter egg is going to entail? We do know that we will be receiving a brand new wonder weapon that's probably going to be a part of this second Easter egg, which is the Mega Barrel. And this seems to be some sort of attachment that goes onto your weapon and it gives you different abilities or attacks of these special boss zombies. For example, you can have the electric shots of the Tempest or you can have the rocket shots of the Panzers or you can have the orange cannon blast of the Russian Manglers. And yeah, I definitely think that getting the Mega Barrel is probably going to be a part of this second Easter egg. I'm surprised we didn't see it in the first Easter egg that's probably saved for the second Easter egg. And it makes sense because within the intel we know that both Omega and Requiem have been capturing the different enemy types and they've been experimenting on them and harnessing their effects and abilities. So speaking of Outbreak, we will likely see a brand new Outbreak map with Season 4 too. On the Euro Mountains, we have a few locations left to release, which are the Mines, the Chemical Labs, the Zoo, and the Weather Station, which also features a remake of Summit within it. And yeah, I'm excited for these spots to release. The Mines is kind of like a sandy area. Then the Chemical Labs has a bunch of chemical waste. So I guess it's kind of going to work like the lava on transit. And there's probably going to be a radiation meter bar similar to Fireteam Dirty Bomb. And we also have the battery section. So yeah, we only have a few seasons left. So I'm not exactly sure how Trek are going to release all of these maps since we have five in the Euro Mountains left. I really do hope we can play on the full Euro Mountains map at some point as well. What's more is we did have Elite Fireteam map, which is apparently codes named Dunes. And a lot of people think that this map is going to be coming in Season 4 because we know from the Season 3 Reloaded cutscene that we're going to be heading to Africa. So this could potentially be another Outbreak location as well. And there has been some recent leaked images and gameplay on Twitter where people have actually managed to play Outbreak on the Combined Arms maps, specifically on Crossroads. Now we can already play Crossroads in Zombies, specifically in Onslaught. That's unfortunately only PlayStation exclusive right now. But yeah, it does seem like Crossroads is going to be coming to Outbreak as well, but we will be playing on the larger version of it. And maybe this is going to be a new Outbreak map because this is a location where there are Omega Scientists, potentially. And speaking of Onslaught, we will be seeing new maps in Season 4. And yeah, because we're going to be heading to Africa within Season 4, a lot of people think that the map that has been leaked since the start of Black Ops Cold War called Echelon, the multiplayer map, the 6v6 map, which is set on building rooftops and it's kind of like a deserty region and there's two giant satellites in the area. A lot of people think that this map is actually set in Africa and it's finally going to be coming with Season 4. And if that is the case, it'll probably be coming to Onslaught as well. Anyways, that's all the boring stuff. The next thing that we will be seeing in Season 4 is finally the Berlin Zombies map. So the second Outbreak Easter Egg is going to lead up to the next survival map. So it seems like the Berlin map is going to be coming in Season 4 Reloaded, which should be around July 22nd, give or take, around 24 weeks after the release of Firebase C, which is 160 days, which is almost a half a year. That's an incredible time to wait for those Survival Zombies fans. If you're a fan of Outbreak or if you're a PlayStation player and you've been having a lot of fun with Onslaught because that's been getting a lot of updates, you probably don't mind the wait. But if you just enjoy the traditional survival maps and unfortunately you can't play Onslaught yet due to PlayStation exclusivity, you know, that's a very long time to wait. So I hope that this Berlin map is really good. The storyline is going to start heating up now with this map considering the fact that the Nazis are going to be escaping from the Dark Aether and destroying and overrunning the city and we'll probably be able to explore the majority of the Berlin city. I'm really hyped for this map to finally release because we've been waiting for it for a very long time ever since it was leaked before Black Ops Cold War Zombies even released. And yeah, this map has to be good. It really has to be jam-packed with content and side easter eggs. D Machina and Firebase C, although they're really good maps, they just don't have enough depth to keep on playing them over and over again. I think there's a lot of potential in Berlin with the fact that we have all of these skyscrapers and these potentially massive planes to explore in the city. But yeah, speaking of a Berlin trek, I've confirmed that in Season 4 we will be seeing new wonder weapons and perks for zombies. So, like I said earlier, we are going to be seeing the Mega Barrel wonder weapons 
weapon added into Outbreak, but we'll probably see a new wonder weapon on the Berlin Zombies map too. I don't know what that's going to be. Let me know some theories in the comment section down below, but we will be seeing new perks, and we have three perks left to release, as there's three more slots left on the Wonder Fizz machine, and we know those perks are going to be Mule Kick, PhD Flopper, and Double Tap. A lot of people are thinking that Double Tap is the next perk to release because it is teased on the Diesel Multiplayer map, and if so, that could release at the start of Season 4 with the second Outbreak Easter Egg, or it could release with the Berlin Zombies map, or potentially, we might see two new perks in Season 4, one with the second Easter Egg, and then one with the Berlin map, and we might see new skill, Crystal Tears as well, maybe Tier 6, but yeah, I think that we deserve two perks in Season 4, to be honest, just because of the fact that we have been waiting so long for this additional Survivor map, I don't understand why we didn't get a new perk with Outbreak when it first released, to be honest, I think that would have been a more appropriate time, I guess it released very close to Firebase C, but surely they should have released the second perk with the Outbreak Easter Egg, at least. So yeah, we might see two perks this season, or just one. I do think that Double Tap is next, because obviously, it's going to increase your fire rate and double your bullet penetration, and Trek just buffed the zombie health on higher rounds massively, so the reason as to why they may have done that is to prepare for when Double Tap releases. And this is a bit of a sidetrack, but I really do think that the Outbreak silo that we explore within the Easter Egg would be perfect for an Onslaught and or Survival map. Trek should just reuse content like this as a way for the community to be happy in between content releases because it would be a great thing to fill the gap as well as potentially a Nagda Unto and Survival version. And yeah, that's pretty much everything I wanted to talk about within today's video. I believe that's all we know is coming in Season 4 just yet. Let me know in the comment section down below if I have missed anything. I think I've covered everything. And just a reminder that this video has been sponsored by Dragon Champions. If you want to download it, check out the link in this video's description. Anyways, thank you for watching the video. Make sure to subscribe if you're not if latest and greatest Call of Duty news and information. Sinris, thank you for watching and uh, bye.